hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be exalted forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please want me like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You have to prepare for this. If the Lord has chosen you to be at the front in your family, in whatever you are, you have to prepare for this. When I heard this word, you know, being a generational cost breaker, it is not just a day job. I know you are doing all you can, but be prepared because you are not among those who are laying costs, you know, in every foundation, in every generation, in every nation, in everywhere, there are some power, some persons that use other powers name to lay costs on that country, to lay costs on that family, to lay costs on different kinds of things. So sometimes when you now said no, this is how you know, they normally transfer this power. That is why when you see some people, they are like, oh, their father was an occult. So the first son had to be an occult. And if the first son refused, they have to give to the daughter or whoever they are giving. So it is it's like, oh, the father is a musician. He sings very well. You see that the child is singing. There is something that is always transferred. It is either in the country, in the neighborhood, in the family. Something is always transferred. That either is good or it is bad. When you see some men of God, they transfer that anointing to their daughter, to their son. They give them the mantle. You know, it's like, oh, the husband preached, the wife preached, the children preached. Why? Because it has been transferred. That is how the other thing as well that is evil can be transferred. If you now see that what is being transferred, it is not something that suits you well. If you now see that whatever has been transferred, you know there are some people that are like, ah, this country, they are the one that have this kind of music. Oh, they have this, they have this. And gradually people no longer want the music. Or people no longer want to, to go to the school to study that particular music. You see that they are like, ah, the music is not there. They used to be the one that have it. So something is always being transferred. I want you to understand when I say transferred. So you don't start saying back to center, back to center, because good things are as well can be transferred. That is why I put in the word people who preach, and people who dance, people who sing. So also evil can be transferred. Addiction is also transferable. You see a mother is addicted, father addicted, children addicted. So it's something can always be transferred. So if you have, be, if you have chosen and said where well, whatsoever used to be transferred, it is it doesn't suit me right it is not it is not something i can accept it is not something that i want it is not something i can cope with you need to be prepared that is to say that you have been choosing to change a narrative even in a whole nation even in a whole community in a whole family even in a generation where you don't even know who are your great grandfather great grand uncle great grand aunt but you have been choosing to break that causes you need to understand that it is not just going to be bread and roses and honey. No, this is where the message is going. This person hear me very well. You have become a generational cost breaker. You need to be prepared because when they see that that cost that they used to transfer, it is not, it is not dead or it is not already dying or you are not operating or putting the causes one at a time, one at a time. They are not just going to fold their hands and be looking at you. That is why I encourage people, whenever you have testimony, that is when you should be praying more. Whenever you have what you are praying for, that is when you should be praying more. Whenever you get what you have been asking the Lord for, that is when you should be praying more. But unfortunately, when some persons get what they are praying for, you no longer see them until they have problem again. And they forgot that that thing that they have gotten, that is something that the enemy was fighting them for not to get. Now they get it and they become naked. They expose the thing. 
instead of them to protect and cover, they expose it and that which they have received become naked and the serpent will bite. You know, when the edge is broken, the serpent will always bite. This person, I want you to know that that which has been transferred, 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 that you don't want to be transferred to you. You don't want to be transferred anymore in your generation. Yes, you are breaking that course, but you must be ready. Even when you see that the course have already broken. So when the course is broken, what next? You have to start praying for the blessings. One thing is for a course to be broken. Another thing is for blessings to manifest from that course, from that place where course was broken. So from the rooms of the enemy, we build the house of God. From the rooms of the enemy, we build the house of God. When you break down the walls of the enemy, when you break down the wall, it becomes a room. So you have a duty now to build. One thing is to pull down. After you are pulled down, you have the responsibility to build. So what you now build or what you want to build now determine how the generation will now look like. So don't think because you are uprooting generational causes, you don't still have duty to pray. The causes might be broken, but now you have a duty to build. Because there are those ones, and even when you are building or you have already built, remain steadfast in the Lord. Because they are not going to like just sit down and say, ah, you are built, now let's go. No. Remain steadfast in the Lord. That is why you see many people are Experiencing continuously evil monitoring. Because they want to monitor you to see if you have left that place where you were, when you got that thing, when you take when you took back that thing that they seized from you. As you are praying against them, you must build. And you as you are building, you must remain. It is very important. You know, I asked myself one day. After all of these, we are praying for like all the houses, the plane, the private, your pri <laughs> private jet, and the private cars, and the home, the husband, the wife, the feed, the this, the prosperity. We are praying for the divine head. After all of that, what next? What next? So you must be, you must be concerned as a child of God. After all, I'm praying for. I have it now. What next? So you must remain in God as you continue to build. The Lord give you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.